Well, do you know that world's first and only university that offers courses in forensic science is National Forensic Sciences University, NFSU, is in India? Yes, and in today's video, you will know all about NFSU Delhi campus, courses it offers, placements, tips to crack the entrance exam, and also get a sneak peek into the student life at NFSU. Uh, NFSU, that is National Forensic Sciences University, it's a specialized university for forensic studies. So, it is an institute of national importance under the Ministry of Home Affairs. Um, and it has several campus. Uh, recently, we have opened one campus in Uganda, and it was inaugurated by a, a, a Mr. S. J. Shankar sir. So yes, it has a specialized uh, courses like M. S. C. Forensic Science, M. S. C. Digital Forensic, M. S. Criminology, B. S. C. M. S. C. Integrated courses for UG students, B. C. L. L. B. B. S. C. L. L. B. But all are inclined towards forensics because now if you see that amendments are going to be brought into the criminal laws where the offences yeah. with uh, punishments for more than six years, the forensic investigation would be made compulsory. So definitely the scope has increased the forensic science and definitely to be a part of NFSU will increase your chances of having a good career ahead. During my UG, uh, we use, uh, our college used to conduct forensic workshops for us, like fingerprinting, how to determine lie detector tests, like two uh, BP operators. So it kind of uh, made me uh, more interested into this field because definitely to go for the investigation of any crime. Be it any crime, mm -hmm. forensic investigation has a very major role to play into the same. So I applied into NFSU. I got into several NLUs too. But I left those NLUs to be in to NFSU so that I could have a specialized knowledge because as you yourself said that there are only 20 students out of 100 who are knowing about forensics. That is actually a beneficial thing for me that people are here and I will have chances of growth definitely. Moreover, being into an NFSU will help you make connections from the people who are actually working into it. And as I am in NFSU Delhi campus, so this is also a training institute for several judges. So we get to, uh, so we also sometimes get opportunity to interact with them. And moreover, being into NFSU is like easy to have field visits like we had once in uh, NCRB, NCRB, National Archives. Even we have visited Tihar Jail and have interacted with the inmates over there. So these are something which you will get a benefit over the other law college if you will join NFSU. Not just law college, law portion of NFSU, but rather all the other courses of be it BSc, MSc, MA criminology, and other, like we have MBA uh, in forensic accounting. So everything is inclined towards forensics, but you have all these degrees over here. In 12th, I had PCM, so I had inclination towards science since my school days. But yes, I wanted to go for law. So I joined five-year law course. I did my UG and then I wanted to do my LLM. So I gave CLAT PG. So for basically for law, uh, you have to give, either give CLAT UG or CLAT PG to get admission into NFSU. But for other exams, there is this particular exam of NFSU, uh, National Forensic Admission Test. So I got a good rank. I even got admission into several LUs. But at the same time, I also received a call from NFSU. So that my inclination of 12th class and the workshop that I attended towards UG, all of those collaboratively helped me or uh, like, I would say it forced me to join NFSU ki yes, uh, you will have a better opportunity. You are having a better opportunity to join. So yes, ma'am, I joined NFSU, Delhi campus basically because in um, Delhi campus, we have LLM in criminal law and criminal justice administration. And in Gandhinagar, okay. we had cyber law. But from this session itself, criminal law is also available at Gandhinagar campus. I was actually very confused at the time because uh, receiving a call at, a call from NHS also and NFSU also, a student will get confused. So for the sake, my uh, contacted director sir of my UG college, he actually made me realize the scope of forensic. The, as I've already mentioned to you, like uh, amendments are to be brought in the criminal law regarding making forensic investigation compulsory. So in general, a normal LLU, might not give you that mm -hmm. knowledge in the in this field itself. But if you'll join NFSU, so definitely you are going to have a specialized knowledge 
and you will have a better edge over the others because they are the ones who are clearing five year UG or PG from there. But you will have an upper edge because you have a knowledge of forensic and moreover you have a connection with other students of the campus who are pursuing uh, pursuing degrees in specific uh, with relate uh, in relation with the forensic science. We have a dedicated internship placement committee for each department. Each department works for okay. its own students. So uh, it was established in 2020. So the UG batch has not yet to the fifth year yet. So yes, they are working for the internship of theirs. Like I've, as I mentioned, we had internship opportunity in Delhi Police. We had it in NCRB. We had it in NCB. So definitely we are gaining a lot of exposure and experience over here. We have field visits which are actually increasing our practical knowledge. Like we have the thought of restorative justice, the victim's compensation and many other things. But when we visited Tihar jail and interacted with the inmates over there, then we actually came to know how the things are actually being implemented into the same. Now considering the placements of other courses like MSc, DFIS. So if you go through the brochure of uh, uh, brochure on their on the website of the NSS, then you will find that the maximum package went to 63 lakhs for the Gandhi Nagar campus. So it also depends upon the course that you have opted for because for law, if you will see, it's a five year integrated course. So now, uh, if you will see, abhi tak to sirf second batch hi jo hai, jo second year ka ki students have reached. Hmm. So it hasn't reached to the fifth year, but yes, when it comes to the internship, they are actually providing with good internship opportunities. Now, when it comes to the LLM students, so the LLM students have actually inclination, different inclination. They are much more focused, rather than on placement, they are much more focused on other competitive exams like UGC yeah. net exam, judiciary exam. I have also recently cleared uh, UGC net law because I wanted to go for academics because the student generally pursues LLM if they want to go for uh, academic or something like that. So this is how the internship and placement works. But for internship, we generally have government organizations. Like you're working with Delhi Police, you're working with NCRB, NCB. Because the admission process for NFSU LLM is based upon the CLAD PG system. And CLAD PG, ka, if you go through the eligibility, they actually say that the students who are in the final years and expecting their final results can okay. apply for it. Mm -hmm. So after giving CLAD PG, like at the time of uh, application, you have to separately apply for the NFSU. And then you will be sharing your scorecard and everything. And a proper merit list will be prepared. And on the basis of the same, you will get a to LLM at NFSU. And depending on the specialization that you talk for several competitive exams that are there like IBPS so if you want to make a career in banking sector if you have interest in banking law uh, and you can also join a law firm uh, with specific uh, focus on arbitration if you have interest in arbitration so each subject will have its own area to go for so by the time of fourth or fifth year a person a, a student should actually realize that what actually interests them like uh, when it comes to me uh, I got admission into HNLU Raipur and LUO. So there were the LL, LL, the specialization was on uh, the specialization of LLM was in corporate law and constitutional law. But I always wanted to join it into criminal law, and that I got it in NFSC. So that was also one of the reason of me choosing it. And so you can go for judiciary, and after doing LLM, you can go for UGNet law and could join as an assistant professor. So there are several. The scope is wide, and you can definitely go for advocacy. My experience with UG and PG, I can tell that. So in my UG, I just had end, uh, end semester exams. Like after my first semester ends, I'll have exams. But what is there in uh, NFSU is like you have three assessments before end semester, like continuous assessment one, you will have exam, then mid semester, then continuous assessment three, and then the end semester exam. So yes, academically, you have to focus a lot over here, like considering the study portion. But yes, we have several societies. I myself is a part of debate society, like founding member of debate society of NFSU Delhi campus. We have conducted several competitions, be it youth parliament, be it Asian parliamentary debate. We also had, like when I joined the NFSU, we had the precious party for which every student here, things for when a person joins college. So we had various sports events at that time. We, had, we have proper codes and everything. So yes, everything is there in NFSU uh, for the holistic development of a student. So, but yes, mm -hmm. so when it comes to academically, you have to work really hard because you have three assessments before your semester and exam. 
so we have enough faculties or uh, almost all of the faculties are phd holders and the ones who are pursuing phd and we have a proper like me from law department can actually go and interact with the faculty or forensic department so we have that interconnectivity also as i have told that i had one of the subject of forensic justice so for the same different faculty are there um and yes we do have seminars uh, being conducted by faculties of several other law schools like we uh, on constitution day we had uh, uh, one of the professors from nlu delhi uh, taking our seminars over here so we have that kind of interaction with the other faculties and we have in house faculties who are majorly phd holders or are pursuing phd if you are interested in for definitely this is your place for you because you will get to interact with many other students who are into different fields be it ms forensic side me from a law student uh, me the law student from a legal background is able to interact a lot with the other students of different batches courses i get to know several other things from them so definitely if you are inclined towards forensic if you want a different career perspective if you want to be into that 20 Out of hundred, then definitely an NFS can be a place for you. But the thing is that you should be interested into it. Otherwise, you will be, be yeah, you join कर लिया समझ नहीं आ रहा. You should be interested into it, and you should be passionate about the higher forensics. उस तो है. I have to pursue it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.